Good morning, good morning, family. How are you doing today? How are you doing today? Hallelujah. Welcome everybody as you are coming in. You are welcome. This is the Protocol Breaking Prayer Platform. We are ready for you. Amen. Hallelujah. We are ready. I know you came in ready. Let's start sharing the live broadcast. Let's make sure we are sharing on our live streams, our timelines, WhatsApp groups. Let's make sure every word goes out. Let's do that and start tapping. God bless you. Hey, my sister, do me advice. Hey, do me. You don't know, my dear. Yesterday, I slept with so much Jesus joy. Hey, testimonies abound i'm telling you things are happening good morning family as you are coming in as you are tapping please make sure you are sharing to at least 10 people make sure at least you at least catch one soul back in the kingdom of god make sure that we are going to populate heaven together okay so the next thing that i'm asking you to do after you share you keep on tapping that like but i want you to introduce yourself and let me know in the comment section and you write the following word overcomer and you tell me the country so i want to know where the overcomers are coming from and you're going to for example say overcomer um uh new york overcomer south africa overcomer let me see where you are tuning in from so i'm doing it both two in one i want to know the country you're from and i want to know whether you are confessing yourself to be an overcomer thank you so much mr chris for sharing the live double overcomer anointing for you thank you so much every single person that is sharing the live not only to even just one person, I'm going to do extra prayer. I'm going to breathe extra. I'm going to shout extra. Hello, hello, YouTube. Hello, hello, Facebook. I see you. Maureen, are you an overcomer? Yes, Maureen says I'm an overcomer from South Africa. And if you are from South Africa, tell me which province or which city. Overcomer from Nigeria is on here. Overcomer Joy from Zambia. Overcomer. Oh, my God. From ooh, Zambia, 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 Zambia. Zambia. Oh, Jesus. Something is happening. Something is stirring. My God, I need overcomers to show up. I know that this is going to be a big competition. I want to see where more of the overcomers are coming from because God is stirring up something. Something is moving. Overcomer in Shawelo Soweto is here. Overcomer Uganda is here. Overcomer Western Cape. Thank you. You're welcome. Overcomer Nigeria. Overcomer Kazan and Overcomer Midran. Talk to me, somebody. Facebook, are you overcome? overcome us. Zimbabwe say we are awake you cannot overcome us KZN Kenya I see you Limpopo I see you oh my god come on somebody keep on tapping and keep on tapping once you have introduced yourself you you make sure that the other overcomers know that you are here oh hallelujah we are overcoming in Jesus joy we are overcomer overcomer Zimbabwe says I'm here overcomer Bethlehem Free State says I'm here overcomer Sasselberg welcome with Jesus joy overcomer 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 somebody declare I'm an overcomer this morning and you tell us where you are overcoming from Jesus Jesus one more minute come on guys come on guys let's share let's make sure we are getting every single soul to become an overcomer we are becoming overcomers in the kingdom of God. Amelia, I see you. Overcomer, my hikeng is on the move. Overcomer, India is on, in, in the house. Overcomer, ooh, Latandi, you are an overcomer. Boston, USA, overcoming all the way from Boston, USA. Come on, somebody. Show Korea Basa. Jesus is God. Jesus is on the throne. Oh, Jesus. I want to see all the overcomers. Hallelujah. We are about to stay, start our prayer session. We are studying guns blazing hallelujah the bible tells us that we can overcome in prayer we have been given a template amen somebody rushan you are gonna overcome my baby in jesus mighty name thank you so much for everybody who's tapping thank you so much for everybody who's sharing all the likers everybody i will be monitoring you and i'm gonna be praying specially extra that god gives me a specific word for you in jesus mighty name god help me hallelujah let me make sure that the visuals on youtube and facebook they are also seeing me i am here i am dressed like i'm an eskimo on iceland hallelujah we have been ex overcome again welcome we have been experiencing what we call snow in south africa we have never seen snow some of us in south africa so 
We are overcoming in the snow in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you so much, guys. I see you. Okay, now we're going to keep on tapping and we're going to overcome, right? Because this is an instruction. This is a prophetic word from the word of God. We know that the Bible tells us that we are to be overcomers because the apostle Paul ends the description in his word. He says, we must put on the armor of God. He says, when you put on the armor of God, you put on the armor of God with prayer. Hallelujah. He writes, he says, you must always with prayer and supplication in the spirit of God, being watchful to this end, we must persevere with supplication for all the saints. So today, we woke up with the spirit of perseverance. We woke up with the spirit of supplication. We're going to supplicate. We're going to pres preserve ourselves. My God, we're going to fight. We are in the, in the king's ring. And we fight to win. Talk to me. So we begin to understand as we track through the scriptures, as the spirit takes me through the scriptures, that Paul wanted to make it clear to us that there is always an ongoing war. Some people are saying, why is it that we are always so, so serious about these warfare prayers? Spiritual warfare is not an option. Hallelujah. We are in a battle. Even if we choose to try and sit it out, the devil does not want us to sit it out. Hallelujah. He is provoking us and we are going to fight. We've got a devil, the enemy called Satan, who has assumed all right and he tries to assume our rightful dominion on earth and we're not going anywhere this is our rightful dominion whatever oh my god let me take all this off hallelujah whenever i start praying heat just comes over me hallelujah the anointing is too much to this morning hallelujah glory to the living god so the enemy is trying to take away your dominion right and you're in this ring and you are fighting but you're gonna fight this morning as we are praying you're gonna say you're not gonna take that dominion because jesus has given me this dominion come on somebody keep on tapping on the screen keep on sharing keep on liking keep on uh following the account that you're watching me from hallelujah so God wanted us to be clear. God wanted us to be very clear in terms of his instructions that I want you to fight. I have given you dominion over everything. Anything that is trying to suppress you, I have given you dominion. So our prayer life, as we wake up to pray like this, when we say we are sending out protocol breaking prayers, these prayers represent our line of communication. Hallelujah. Excuse me, please. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It is our line of communication so that we connected to our master God. Hallelujah. We are connected to Jesus. Hallelujah. He keeps on giving us strength. He keeps on giving us direction. Every time you pray, you, 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 you find that your mind gets illuminated. Everything around you, there's a calmness. I've been seeing SMSs and WhatsApps. People have been sending and saying, Pastor, since I started praying with you, I am seeing direction. I'm lifted. I don't know if those people are still here. Hallelujah. But one thing I can tell you for sure is that you're going to be lifted. You're going to have direction. Talk to me, somebody. He keeps on giving you strength is other people who I can say um you know i confess i have been uh, having an, an overwhelming spiritual strength physical strength i have been able to do things that i've not been able to do that is what that is coming because of your prayers it's coming from the consistency and, and the word of God that has been coming inside of you. Hallelujah. You are becoming light. Hallelujah. So we begin to understand that prayer is the etching key. It's, it's the arcing key. Or how do you pronounce that word? But it is the key. Whatever you're going to do today as you confess in the comment section and says, I'm an overcomer. It is all anchored on prayer. And that prayer is anchored on the word. And there is no way that you lose when you are praying prayers that are anchored on scripture. Hallelujah. Your overcoming status. You're going to be an overcomer. Somebody declare in the comment section one more time and say, I am an overcomer. Talk to me. Hallelujah. I am an overcomer in the name of Jesus Christ. Even though Jesus is no longer physically here on earth. Hallelujah. Prayer is our means of communication with the Father and it is still important to him that we communicate. He's sitting there, sitting at the right hand of the Father right now at this very moment. He's at the right hand of God interceding for me and you. He is making sure that we continue that what we are doing now, he's doing it there as well isn't jesus awesome come on somebody say i'm an overcomer somebody declare i'm an overcomer you need to make jesus proud he's sitting there in heaven and he's saying i'm an overcomer hallelujah look at my children they are an overcomer come on somebody God bless you, Rishwan, in Jesus' name. He says, right now, at this very moment, as I'm sitting at the right hand of God, I'm interceding for you. I want you to make it in life. Talk to me, somebody. 
Hallelujah. So if the Lord considered is that, that it's that important that we engage ourselves in interceding and he's doing it at the throne of God for the last 2,000 years, he's been doing the same thing. Hallelujah. This tells us that those of us who are less diligent in prayer because of our physical or, or, or human weakness, sometimes we are tired, sometimes we feel cold, cold, sometimes we feel like giving up, but there is something that will wake us up, something that will anchor us, something else that will make us overcome us, and that is the ministry of intercession. And we're going to intercede for ourselves. Else. We're going to inter intercede for those of our families. We're going to make sure that somebody else makes it. Somebody is coming out with a testimony today. Oh my God. I'm going to start, start sharing testimonies this week in Jesus' mighty name. I'm, you know I always like things in a pretty way. I'm going to take some testimonies and share them with you on videos now. Because I want you to show, I want to show you what God is doing in the, in, in the saints' lives. So every occasion and every time you come on a broadcast like this, this is an opportunity for you to pray. And I want you to pray with all your heart. Hallelujah. I want you to pray without ceasing as the Bible directs. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are instructed to pray. Make all your supplications. Present all your supplications. God is saying, I will provide for your needs. I've got you. God bless everybody who's sharing the life. I see you. Thank you so much. God bless all the tappers. I see you. Hallelujah. Come on, talk to me, YouTube. Come on, talk to me, Facebook. You are an overcomer. Hallelujah. So when you are praying this morning, we are going to pray by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is going to direct us. The Holy Spirit is going to shape us. The Holy Spirit is going to give us the correct prayers and the things that you say in our mouth. And Lord, I commit this service. I commit this broadcast. I, pro I commit myself, my body, and everything, everything inside of me. Let every word that will proceed up out of my mouth be anointed by your God. Let every word that will proceed out of my mouth be what you want to communicate to your people. Touch somebody who woke up this morning and they're believing. They're waiting for that one word from God. God, that one word that will confirm and that will charge them forward, that will catapult them to their next level and their next destiny in Jesus' mighty name. Father God, I pray, my God, there are sincere believers that have showed up this morning, my God. They are fully committed to doing your will. Father God, honor them. Honor them, my God, in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I know that you know the intents of our prayers. Hallelujah. You know that we don't, sometimes we come before your God and we fumble and we don't know what to say. But God, we ask that you put the right words in our mouth today. Hallelujah. Put the right spirit in us. Put that right excitement in somebody who's listening to the sound of my voice this morning. Put that Jesus joy in them. Put that, that, that garment of praise. That person who has been sleeping and woke up with sadness. That person who has been feeling like they are pressed down. They don't feel like praying anymore. They don't know what to say. My God, I'm asking you, Lord, reshape their lives. Oh God, reveal yourself to them, oh God. Lord, seek the deepest needs that they have. Meet the deepest need, Father God. Give them the assurance that beneath everything that may be looking like it's a struggle, beneath the darkness that is looking like it's never going to come to pass. Father God, I need you to penetrate and to go and perform a surgery in that depth, my God, and reveal that you are going to meet their needs in Jesus' mighty name. My God. Let the watchmen that are on this broadcast be watchful and release missile ballistic prayers, my God, this morning of overcoming, my God. This morning I wake up determined I'm releasing overcomers in the name of Jesus Christ. Let every prayer begin to track down everywhere where we need to get to. Oh, Shakari Abahasata. My God. Paul saw it, said to us that we must be watchful. So we're not sleeping. We are watchful. Hallelujah. He instructs us in the book of Ephesians chapter 6. He says, we must be watchful. Hallelujah. He says that means we must be awake. We must be vigilant. Come on, somebody. When you commit to praying each day like you have been doing, hallelujah, you are, you are to remove. There's going to be a text. Yes, they, because the attacks are trying to distract you. But God is saying, I'm removing distractions. There is the enemy who's trying to put doubt inside of you. He's trying to say, this thing that you're saying might not come to pass. I want you to just focus on Jesus this morning. Don't focus about what everybody else is saying on the comment section. You focus on Jesus. As you are hearing, the spirit will confirm. So you need to know that this is a special time for you. 
This is a special time when you are devoted and you are praying to your God. This is the time for you to commune with your God. Don't get distracted. Don't be doubtful. Don't listen to anything else anybody's saying right now. This is the time that you guard diligently. Hallelujah. You focus your prayers precisely as you can. Being persistent. That is why he says, ask and keep on asking. Knock and keep on knocking. Seek and keep on seeking until you find. You are going to be focused. You don't want anything to be disturbing you. And you're going to be persistent because you know this is not a once of affair. But you're going to keep on trusting God because that is the intention that your, your, your prayers will be heard and understood. Somebody say my prayers will be heard and understood. Make sure you are typing it in the comment section and declare with me and say God this morning my prayers will be heard and they will be understood. There will be no miscommunication. My angels exactly are receiving the instructions that I will send out this morning. Come on somebody. Come on somebody. Who's an overcomer? Declare to me. Declare to the world. Declare to the spirit realm that I'm an overcomer. Declare to the thing that has been trying to suppress you. Dis to declare to the thing that has been destroying you that, that you are an overcomer. That thing is impossible to distract you. It cannot distract you. It will not distract you. It shouldn't distract you. It will not distract you. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. It's impossible. It's impossible. If I could say it in 10,000 languages, I would do it. It is impossible. If you want to say it in your language, say it. It is impossible. I'm an overcomer and I'm establishing my status as an overcomer. I'm sitting on the head of the devil. I'm in charge and he cannot take me off. I will keep on pressing. My foot is on the head of the devil and I don't give him space to breathe. Any demonic attack, I am sitting on every single demon. Whether you are coming as a legion, I am pressing you down and I've made up my mind. 2023, I am winning all the way by... Mm, Oh, I'm violently taking it by force. It cannot be otherwise. Jesus. So as you embrace your God this morning, as you embrace and comment there and say, I'm an overcomer, God is going to help you find your overcoming path. Hallelujah. He's going to fill your life with an overcoming anointing in Jesus' mighty name. God is going to come in and grow you. God is going to come in and mature you. The Holy Spirit is going to do a remarkable work this morning. Oh, Jesus, I hear you. My God, somebody needs to pray right now and say, fill my life with a joyful discipline. Fill my life that I will be able to pray without ceasing. Come on, somebody. Sometimes we take things for granted. We, th we say well, it's easy to pray like that. But for somebody who's been saying, the way I've been crying, the way everything that I'm facing, it's so difficult. I don't even know where to start. I want you to be filled with Jesus' joy. I'm releasing Jesus' joy inside of you. You're going to have strength. You are coming back. You are coming back. And you are bouncing back. Come on, somebody. When you are praying like this, the way you are praying on this protocol breaking prayer altar, you prepare yourself to communicate with your father as a commander. Somebody say, I'm a commander. You're going to command. You're a commander. You are in a military. I'm a commander. Can somebody declare, I'm a commander. I'm going to engage with every battle that life throws my way. I'm going to engage with every battle the enemy tries to throw my way. That is the key to the foundation of being a life as an overcomer. The foundation that says, I'm an overcomer. Whatever struggles that you came here this morning to pray about, I'm an overcomer and I'm a commander. Come on, somebody. Whatever tools I need, my arm army has made sure that I prepare for it. There are certain armies and soldiers in the world. They know that they've got the military arsenal that they need. There is an arsenal that has been prepared. I'm an overcomer. I'm a commander. I'm in charge of this thing. And as a commander, I'm the one who directs which missiles are being released. I'm, a, I'm the one who directs what power, what, 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 what guns, whatever it is that I need. Oh, commanders, where are you? Somebody say, I'm an overcomer and I'm a commander. I'm an overcoming commander. Come on, somebody. Whatever tools that you need to use to keep communicating with God open, Father, release it to that commander in Jesus' mighty name. O Shakori Abasata. Whatever word that he has given you during your devotional time, this is your command. Command your way through. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, help us to be persistent and to be effective in prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Jesus. Karabashi Oh, Jesus, come on, somebody. Somebody declare it one more time and say, I'm a commander. I'm an overcomer. Can somebody please announce it to everybody who's joining us, who's just coming late? Come on, commanders. Where are you? Where are the overcomers? Mohammed, overcome all the way, darling. 
Maureen, over, I'll come all the way. Linda Takawira, overcome all the way. Refuel Mudawung, be God, continue to command. Mohammed Zin 44, command. YouTube, command. Let me check on the Facebook commanders. Hallelujah. Commanders, Chido, can you overcome? Can you show me that you can overcome? Nwasha Constance, can you overcome? Oh, Jesus, Jesus saying Facebook is ready. They are ready to overcome. Overcomers, overcomers, overcomers incorporated, overcomers all round. Jesus, I'm an overcomer. I'm an overcomer. Hallelujah. Karabashe teke diabasa. You, are, you need to understand that an overcomer is somebody who's engaged in a continuous battle. Hallelujah. An overcomer is somebody who understands, who's not oblivious to the fact that there are fights and there's battles in life that come on. Hallelujah. So I'm going to be engaged in this battle and I'm coming with an anointing of a commander. I'm coming with an anointing knowing that I've already won. An overcomer is somebody who has decided that through God and through fervent prayer, he continues to subdue the enemy. Somebody confess with me and say and declare, today I will subdue the enemy. Whatever the enemy comes in, whatever he comes, I'm going to subdue the enemy in Jesus' mighty name. Do I have anybody who's ready? Humble, you are ready to subdue. I can see you. I dare you, you are ready to, to, to subdue. I dare put you. Noella is saying, I'm ready to subdue. Mama T, you will subdue. Sophie Shalati, you will subdue. Nwasha Constance, you will subdue. Chido, you will subdue in, the, in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Shakari Abahas. I'm going to subdue the enemy. Come on, somebody. You need to understand, child of God, that there is no victory without a challenge. Some of us, we want to not have challenges. We don't want to face problems. But the, the, the whole point of the fight coming is to demonstrate your powers, is to, to, to demonstrate that you are able to subdue. It's for you to demonstrate that you have power to subdue the enemy. There is no victory without a fight. So in this fight that you have been going through in life, I'm here to declare and decree that you will subdue and you will fight and you will overcome and you will have victory. There is no overcomer without a challenge. Somebody shout, I'm an overcomer. Even those that don't want to say I'm an overcomer uh, because they're saying, hey, if I say I'm an overcomer, that means challenges are going to come. Well, no, no, no. Declare it. I'm an overcomer. Whether you like it or not, challenges will come, but you're going to overcome them. Hallelujah. So your challenges become an opportunity for you to be an overcomer. It's a stepping stone for your next dimension. If there was no Goliath, there would have not been any David. Hallelujah. David was the, Go Goliath was an opportunity for David to, uh, to, to ascend to the throne and God anointed him. Some of you need to understand that there are things you need to conquer so that you can asc uh, ascend to the next stage of your life. So we need the Goliaths. Let them come on so that they can see that they cannot depend on our size, but there's something that we are carrying inside of us that is ballistic, that is going to overcome every giant. Hallelujah. Somebody tell that your Goliath and say, I'm an overcomer. Somebody declare, I don't know what has been challenging you. I need you to declare and, and say that thing. And you mention that thing and say, tell that thing, I'm an overcomer. Poverty, I'm an overcomer. Financial challenges, I'm an overcomer. Spiritual challenges, I'm an overcomer. Demonic challenges, I'm an overcomer. Marital problems, I'm an overcomer. It's just a problem. My God. Every Goliath needs to know that you are an overcomer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible introduced us to the man called Joseph, hallelujah. In the book of Genesis chapter 37, he had a dream, but his brethren were insistent and angry with him and they tried to stop the dream from being fulfilled. Who is that person who is around your life who is trying to stop you from fulfilling your dreams? That person needs to be overcame. Whoever is trying to bring you down, that person needs to be overcome. He didn't talk about people who are friends of Joseph. He said his brothers. These were blood brothers. So today, when we enter the army, the army, the army, the, the, the field, the battlefield, we understand that some of the people we are fighting are blood relatives. And we are saying we did not choose to be your enemies. You are the ones that chose yourself to be our enemies. Therefore, we take no prisoners. We take all. God, we are overcoming. We are subdued doing everybody wherever camp you are coming from whether you are my blood brother but if you chose to bring me down god is gonna deal with you whatever relative that has been trying to suppress you my god you need to understand that it was not written that joseph ever complained joseph did not regret having those dreams but he remained faithful and god was with him all the way 
Hallelujah. And being in slavery in those days was something not easy. How would he have known? But I want to announce to somebody that I know you feel like you're in slavery. I know you feel like you're in a pit. But I want to tell you that you're actually transitioning to your palace place. Somebody say, I'm stepping into my palace. Come on, somebody. Oh, Jesus. Karabashata kaliabasa. You see, there is something that I'm seeing now in the spirit. God, go, oh go, give me discipline, Jesus. Karabashata kaliabasa. There's a lady you are sitting in a shack right now, a tin shack. There's one single bed. It's actually a mattress. You're just managing it. The mattress is basically almost about to fall off right now. I see there's a, there's a, a cupboard and on the cupboard, you put your sugar in a jar that's like yellow. It's a plastic jar that is yellow. And right now, I see you sitting on the bed. Your bed is covered with a brown, it's not a blanket. I don't know if you guys understand what this thing is called. It's called a bedspread in South Africa. I don't know what you call it, but it's an old, it's, it's old and raggedy. And you are, you've been asking yourself, you often sit in that position and your cupboard is right here because there's not enough space on the shack and you are sitting here and you're saying, God, will I ever move out of this place? Will I ever get my own place? You are currently staying in a back room in a shack. The Lord said, I must announce to you that yes, you have, you are going to get the RDP house. I want you to go back to the offices and go and ask again. I don't know whether you are physically here in the broadcast or somebody that knows you is in this broadcast, but if they are, if you are not physically here, you need to get that person who knows the, 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 the room that I just described. Make sure you get that message to that person. I need you to go and encourage them. I'm describing somebody. I'm trying, I'm, I'm, I'm asking because I'm trying for more specificity. I want God to tell me where this person is exactly. I'm an overcomer. You are coming out of that slavery. You are moving into your palace place. You are moving into your palace place in Jesus' mighty name. Shakura bahasa takadiasa. La koria basa ndadiyamasa takaria basa kedia. Somebody needs to understand I'm an overcomer. Can we continue to declare it, please? Can somebody make a demand on the Holy Spirit this morning? I'm an overcomer. I'm an overcomer. I'm an overcomer. I'm an overcomer. Somebody declare it. Keep on praying. I'm an overcomer. I'm an overcomer. I'm an overcomer. Thank you, Jesus, for confirmation. I'm an overcomer. I'm an overcomer. Let me also check on YouTube as well. Thank you, Jesus. You are stepping into your palace zone. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, continue to speak, O God. That person, I've just, I don't know, something is happening in Rustenburg. In Rustenburg. Rustenburg. Thank you, Jesus. Rustenburg. Thank you, God. So I want to announce this morning that prison that you have been feeling that you are in, God is moving you closer to your palace place. Somebody say, I'm getting into my palace place in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I thank you for every single person that is in this place. Father, I thank you that whatever their goals, whatever their objectives are, whatever their prayer points are, my God, let there be that word that will catapult them. Send them that confirmatory word in Jesus' mighty name. You need to know what your goal is. Hallelujah. You need to know what it is that you want God to do for you so that you are not confused when it's happening. Know what you want to achieve. And you need to also have an understanding of what God wants from you. Know what God wants from you. 
So you have to make up your mind that I'm going to be prayerful because if you are not prayerful, your life will result in frustration and helplessness. Who is from Malamulele? Please identify yourself because I, I'm, I'm stuck in Malamulele. Malamulele. Once you identify yourself, the Holy Spirit will take me back and, and I will, I will, I will keep on, I'm, I'm, I'll keep on interceding and hear what it is. Shakura Bahasata. Please do not say it's me if it's not you. Because I'm going to ask you certain things and if you confirm incorrectly, do not try and steal. So I'm going to ask you certain things about that place and if you cannot confirm it you are the one that is inviting things that you don't want to invite you're going to be in your palace place okay i'm coming so i'm saying do not be discouraged saints of god somebody say i'm an overcomer I'm an overcomer. I'm an overcomer. Do not be discouraged, says the Spirit of the Lord. He says you will soon get there. You will soon get there. The major thing, and he says, I need you to focus and you restructure. God bless you, Janike, that you know your goal. You need to know your goal and you need to to be sure and not doubt that I know what I have in store for you. I know what you, I want you to achieve and I will make sure that you achieve that I want you to achieve. In Psalms 105, he sent a man before them. Even Joseph, who was sold as a servant, whose feet they hurt with fetters. He was laid in iron until that the time his word came. I'm talking to those of you who have been feeling changed. You have been feeling like you are just in that blockage moment. Nothing is moving until his word came. And therefore I prophesy to you who has come and you are feeling like your, your feet have been chained. I'm prophesying to you right now and I say your word has come. Until your word comes. The chains don't break. But right now, somebody needs to know the chains are breaking. Your chains are breaking in Jesus' mighty name. Kalabasho to Kodiasa. Yo shakana mania ma soto kolia ma shata karia basi. Ria ba soto kolia ma shanderia ma so kolia basi. Rakandia la ma soto kolia ba sheke te kedia maha. Okay. I wanted to teach this before I speak. I'm going to come back, Noella, if it is you, I'm going to come back and tell you how many siblings you have because God is busy downloading still. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God wants to change your situation. God wants to change the destiny of your family through you. Welcome everybody. Let God locate you. Let God position you to where you need to go. I'm an overcomer. Hallelujah. God wants you to overcome certain things. Thank you, Jesus. Chains are being broken. Thank you for that confirmation. In Jesus' mighty name. I'm an overcomer. Hallelujah. The same way that the king sent and loosed, even the ruler of the people had to let him go and set him free. I command and I declare and I decree to everybody who at the sound of my voice right now that you are being set free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Joseph had the required knowledge. Joseph knew not to complain. He never complained until the word came to him. He knew what he was carrying. He knew what dreams he had. 
And as you as you continue to pray this morning, hallelujah, I decree and I declare that every battle that has been you've been facing will be subdued in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, I thank you. The Bible says those who trust on Mount on the Lord, they are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abides forever. Hallelujah. Somebody declare in the comment section, I cannot be moved in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I cannot be moved in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your brother was in a, in, in a car accident and when it happened, he couldn't continue to work anymore. And it's like now there is no breadwinner in the family. Everybody's just managing. Your parents are managing through pension monies. I don't see the father, but I see the mother, but I see that, that your brother is homebound. I'm waiting for you because you said you're going to confirm that I will go deeper and, 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 and say more things. Father, I cover it with the blood of Jesus Christ. The Lord wants to release you and the Lord wants to give you that empowerment to know that you are rising to become the breadwinner in that family and God wants to assure you that things are about to get better. God bless you, everybody. Somebody, as you're coming in, keep on typing, I'm an overcomer. I'm waiting for that confirmation. Let me move on because I don't want other people to be without their words. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Moderators, you will pin it when you said, Hallelujah. Karabashi kalabasata. Those who trust in the Lord, they are like Mount Zion. They are like Mount Zion. They shall not be moved. It is like Mount Zion. You are like Mount Zion will not be shaken and you, you will abide forever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Karabashi alamasata kadiaba. Shakura basata kandeme sheke teki basata. Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. I worship you, Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. I'm an overcomer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I cannot be moved in the name of Jesus Christ. I, I, I lift you out of that depression in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people from the time forth and forever. May you be surrounded. May you feel him surrounding you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. You cannot be moved in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. For the scepter of wickedness shall not rest on the land allotted for the righteous, lest the righteous reach out their hands to iniquity. My God, I ask you to do good this morning. Do good, O oh Lord, to those who are good. Those who are expectant from you, do good for them in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. You have been waiting for three years to hear from your attorneys whether or not the monies will be released or not. And I'm talking about monies related to that accident. It shall not be what you had expected. But the Lord is saying, I must reassure you and your household that those things should not move you. That God is about to send relief in your household. 
through your sister who is on this broadcast right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, God do good to those who are good in Jesus' mighty name and to those who are upright in their hearts. As long as your heart is upright, God is about to do good. Hallelujah. The tide is about to turn and God is saying, I'm about to turn aside the crooked ways. I'm about to turn aside the crooked ways. I will lead you to the right path. Every worker of iniquity that has been saying you shall not have peace. I saying, I am sending peace into your house. Right now you have an overwhelming sense of peace that is coming over you. You have been anxious the whole night. And right now there's an overwhelming peace that is upon you in Jesus mighty name. My God, I refuse to be subdued by the battles around me. I will subdue every battle that is under me. I will put it under my feet in Jesus' mighty name. Can somebody declare and pray? Can we pray and push in the spirit? Father God, subdue my enemy. Subdue every battle. I place every single battle under my feet in the name of Jesus Christ. I refuse to fail in the battle of life. Father, I stand in the gap for these ones who are online right now. I say and I declare, my God, we refuse to fail any battle in life that comes our way. My God, we refuse for any challenge to take away our status and our anointing as overcomers. We decree and we declare that we are overcomers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, that you have delivered that person from barrenness in the name of Jesus Christ. You are delivered from the barrenness of everything that is good in your life. You will have options. You will have options where you want to shop and what you want to buy. You have been there's somebody you have been driving a white Corolla and it's about to be repossessed and you have been feeling like oh my god everything is slipping away and you have been feeling like oh my god I don't have options is this all that I have come to and I'm mountain to you've got two children who are still young and who are still going to school and you have been panicking how you're going to raise these children the Lord is saying I am sending an assurance and a peace that surpasses all understanding is about to hit you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ right now where you are you are feeling an absolute breeze around you there is an absolute breeze that you cannot explain because no door is open no window is open right now the Lord is saying my angels are always around you stop panicking the couch that you are sitting on it's got a wooden arm armrest thank you holy spirit there shall be deliverance upon mount zion in the mighty name of jesus christ thank you jesus my God, deliver us from every barrenness of good things that are supposed to happen in our lives. Deliver us from the barrenness that is threatening to take away options in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, somebody, your cry, your only prayer has been God. I need options in my life. Jesus, come on, somebody. Talk to me, somebody. Those of you on Mara Official, we have noticed that we do have an issue sometimes when you when you drop or something like that. Please keep on talking so that I know that the screen is not frozen. Otherwise, we need to restart. Thank you, Lebo, for confirming that word. So shall it be. I pray for you, Lebo. It will not be repossessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bring you restoration in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak, my God. I command a delay in the papers from the bank right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I command a delay from the bank. That repossession will not happen. Everything that they were trying to list on the list of, of the list of the cars that were about to be repossessed. I speak to those, that process. My God, Father, intervene. I ask you for your mercy. There shall be a delay and that delay will give you enough time to recuperate and that delay will give you enough time because God is going to put something in your hands to do and you are going to fix that situation in Jesus mighty name. You are going to be up to date with those payments in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord says you will be able to take your children to school. Thank you, Jesus. And that's for all the haters who think that God does not speak to specific situations. God, God knows your matter. And when God, let me, let me teach you something. When the spirit of God, I know some of you, you want the specific, where, where should I go? Where should I mean? No, 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 no. Whatever he shows, even if he shows it in snippets, he shows it to, to, to just give you that confirmation. 
Just that confirmation to you to say, I know your matter. I don't know you from a bar of soap. I only see what I see. What, whatever he puts, and I, I will say it like I say it. My God, I speak to that retrenchment process. Lord, I ask you that there's, please do not use crying emojis. Please do me that favor. I, I speak to that. Okay, Togozisi, I'm going to pray for you. But no crying emojis, please. The Lord knows your matter. And I want you to stop crying. And I want you to stop panicking. I want you to stop, start talking. God bless you, Janike. God. I want you to start talking to that intervention, to the mercy of God and say, God, I will survive this retrenchment process in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, calamity and, 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 and people may be losing their jobs all around, but God, you have promised that you will protect me, that you will provide for me. If this is the job that you have given me, my God, and you're going to protect me through this platform, my God, I am going to stay. My God, thank you for my word of confirmation. I have come, I've made my, my, my cries known. Thank you so much in Jesus' mighty name. So the Lord knows your matter in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You keep on declaring and you keep on thanking me in advance. Not in a crying attitude, but in a thanksgiving, thanksgiving attitude. You're going to pray prayers of thanksgiving and say, my God, I will survive. And you're not going to carry yourself and you're not going to continue to be in cabals or, or, or gossiping about it. Worry, worry about whether you're not on the list. The Lord says, don't worry whether you're on the list of retrenchment. Thank me. You behave the same way you've been behaving. You behave the same way you have been working. You work harder in this season, in this process. Don't listen to gossip. Don't panic. Don't change the way you are working. Continue to work in excellence. And see whether the God of mercy will not intervene in that retrenchment process. My God. Yes, the Lord will show you the direction. Yes, the Lord will show you the direction that you need. In Jesus' mighty name. Somebody say, Father, catapult me to my success place. Lead me to my success place. Catapult me to my success place. God bless everybody. Every evil power that has been dominating your life, because right now I command it to expire in Jesus' mighty name. Don't open the door. Thank you, Mama T. There's, you've been through too much. You can't give up now, Ovi. You can't. You can't. Thank you, Lebs. You, are, you, you can't give up now. Lebo, we stand in agreement with you. You will not lose. Mm -mm, not this battle. Mm -mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Every problem, I speak to every problem that has been affecting your breakthrough. I command it to disappear in the name of Jesus Christ. Guys, be open. Don't, don't wait until I call your name specifically. There are things that are resonating. These prayers that I'm saying, I'm raising, these declarations that I'm making, you know they speak to your situation. I'm not speaking, speaking just because I'm saying it. I'm speaking because you have been waiting for the confirmation. Catapult me to my place of success. My God. Somebody came on this platform praying for a visa to the USA. And in their country, they were going to get two years. And God catapulted them to a five-year visa. Are you understanding this God that we serve? Do you understand that we don't just speak for the sake of speaking here? We are breaking protocol. Protocol said two years. The protocol breaking altar God said, no, I give five. I'm, I'm, I'm praying. I can't wait. I, I, I'm asking you. I'm, I'm, I'm humbly. When you are ready to even testify like via video, come and tell them what God has been doing in your life. Some of you, I want you to make videos. Send them to me. Tell me. I want to see your face because I want to even pray more. So I, I know you have sent the testimonies on WhatsApp, but I want you to encourage somebody and show them the power of prayer and show them that you, this is what it means to be an overcomer. My God, break all protocols for every single person. Every single person that is busy joining, I'm praying for you that God will break protocols for you and, and show himself in your life. 
Father, I come against every power that is trying to dominate in the any life of every person that is watching me right now in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I declare and I decree that their breakthroughs shall not be affected in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command every problem to expire right now. Now I need all the warriors. Come on, let's keep on declaring. Let's break down every single problem, every challenge that has been trying to de debilitate you and make you slow down in the main mighty name of Jesus Christ. Right now, Father God, every problem, we command you to expire. Every single form of sorrow, we command you to expire. Every form of disgrace, we command you to expire. In Jesus' mighty name, I decree and I declare that you shall not be wallowing in sorrow. You shall not be disgraced. You shall not be ashamed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I speak to every power, every power that is saying that you are going to fail. Right now, I command it to catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, I speak to those who are in workplaces. My God, I speak to every single boss that is evil. Every evil boss that is trying to make himself load Every evil boss that has been trying to suppress you. Every evil boss that has been trying to dominate your freedom. My God, do I, do I say it like that? God remove them. I wanted to, 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 to say that. But if God chooses to remove that person, if they are to be laid to rest, let them be laid to rest. There are some of you, you have been going to your workplaces and your bosses have been giving you Come, you, you know, I'm always saying we must be diligent, but some of your bosses have been giving you instructions that have been making it very difficult for you to balance your life very well. And they are they're trying to squeeze you out, yes. But this is starting to affect your family. And I'm praying for those specific people right now. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Families are, 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 are sanctified before you. Families are a blessed union. I declare and I decree your marriage will not break just because you've had to work. Father, I pray for open doors and open options, my God. Hey, I'm Sophie. He will not work you out in Jesus' mighty name. Right now, he's in fact trying to find a way to look at your leave, to see whether you have defaulted in any of your leave days, that they want to start. He's, he's always like prying into your leave days to see whether or not you are, you are taking more than enough or whether you have reported. The specific... Hold on. Calm, are you in the hospital now? Let me let me finish what the Lord was saying on this issue. The assignments that you they've been giving you, even in your workplace, they've been giving you assignments that are taking you far from work, right? One of you I know you personally. And I know that situation and I'm praying for favor. I'm praying for a turnaround on that issue. The other two ladies, I don't know you. Aside from the one who has confirmed on, on, on Mara official. Now I'm talking to the three other ladies, specifically your issue with the bosses that you are having in your workplace. You are constantly being given assignments that either make you work over time more than is required. And this situation has been creating a problem in your homes. My technical team, please. Um, they am saying the video, the, the YouTube is not receiving enough um, view um, stream. So please come and check for me, please, if the camera is, is working fine. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Please, can somebody in the house come in and, and rush and check the video? Because uh, YouTube, are you still online? Are you still able to see me? Thank you, Holy Spirit. That person who said, my husband, are you confirming that this is, this is, this is you? You have been having problems in your, in your homes because of the overtime work and the long distance work and that you are not present enough in your homes. 
Thank you, Jesus. Okay, we're going to correct right now. There's, there's an error that I, I just picked up and it's going to be sorted out now. Holy Spirit, somebody say, oh, I'm an overcomer. I'm an overcomer in Jesus' mighty name. Do I do something about that? Just leave it like that. Is, is the camera plugged in on power? Okay, cool. Thank you. My God, I speak to every evil boss, every, every evil supervisor, every manager that is trying to make your life an impossibility. My God, I pray, my God, let them be laid to rest or be moved out of my sphere of influence in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Somebody say, blood of Jesus set me free from bandage. The blood of Jesus will set you free from every single form of bondage, every single form of bondage, even of bondage of sin. Blood of Jesus set me free so that I can walk uprightly with God, that God is going to protect me in Jesus' mighty name. You are an overcomer and you will reach your birthday, Mama T, in Jesus' mighty name. You are not going anywhere. We will celebrate your birthday with you in Jesus' mighty name. Father, every plan of my opponents, every plan of my enemies, of my opposition, of my adversaries to bring me down, my God, I command that plan to scatter in the name of Jesus Christ. Every plan of the opposition trying to scatter you right now, I command it to scatter in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pull every single person out of any covenant that will not make them succeed in life. Whatever covenants that were made by intention, negligently, recklessly, by not knowing every covenant of evil that is saying you will not succeed in life. I uproot you from that covenant. I break that covenant. I tear up the contract pieces in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I break every covenant that you did not know that they were trying you to the marine spirits in Jesus' mighty name. I uproot you from it in Jesus' mighty name. I I decree that you will succeed in your life in Jesus mighty name every cobweb that has been assigned to block your destiny to block your way my God I command it to catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I command those cobwebs to catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that person every morning you see cobwebs on your car I command them to catch fire right now it's a full stop today is the day it breaks in Jesus mighty name Every Goliath that has been challenging your God, that has been saying, I want to see whether your God is strong enough. My God, right now, I command them to fall down and die. Every Goliath, every Goliath in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, that thing that has been moving in the ceiling, two people, two places, mid rent and in Limpopo, there are two ladies, there are things that have been moving around in your ceilings. And you have checked whether it's red or something like this. Yes. Oh, Karabasha, it's not red. Yes. I command peace in those houses in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command complete deliverance. Father God, distance is just, it's not a barrier. Father, let these prayers reach there in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is moving in that ceiling, I command it to catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The lady in Limpopo, I'm not mentioning exactly your house because I, it is for your privacy's sake. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I command every army of darkness that has been assigned to us, my God. Let them be arrested. Every army of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You went for a deliverance. And in that place where you went for that deliverance, they are the ones who are sending back that that arrow that you are experiencing in your house that the lady who sent me the pictures of what you saw on the wall after we prayed i need to know Who else was in your house? Did somebody come and do a cleansing in your house? You can, you can, we can continue on WhatsApp, but it just sprang in my spirit to ask the question. 
whether there has ever been anybody who has been brought around your house to do any cleansing. Father, I thank you. I pray every, every, every evil authority that has tried to disguise themselves as good and came to cause destruction, my God. I command them to be defeated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God, mother, what is happening in your house? Talk to me. What are you seeing in your house? Because some of you have been seeing. May God intervene in your situation in the name of Jesus Christ. God, mother, I want to hear what is happening in your house. Father, lift us up where we have fallen, where we have made mistakes. Somebody say in the comment section, Lord, lift me up. Lord, lift me up. Lord, lift me up. Lord, lift me up. Did they come in to visit or they came in? This was during a visitation. Okay, Godmother, I'm, 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 for, for the sake of time, guys, the, 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 for the sake of time, Godmother, I'm just going to give you the, 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 the instruction, what the Holy Spirit is saying. Yes, something was spilled in your house when the person entered. Please, no crying emojis. It, it, moderators, if anybody uses a crying emoji, please just block them or mute them. KG, when you say you've been to dark places, do you mean spiritually or you went to a dark place? Did you form any covenants in those places? Because if you did, you need to be delivered. There's nothing that I will say, that thing, no prayer that I will say right now that will make a difference. If you went, if you know, you know that you went to the dark places. Pumzile, on join our midnight prayers. And at the end of the midnight prayers, we do go into dream interpretation. Not today, my darling. I need you to focus. I need you to write down exactly what it is that you are seeing with those black snakes and write down so that you are describing the issue very well when it comes to the weekend, when we do our online prayers. Today, we don't do dream interpretation. I have to stay focused. Father, I pray for every single person. Is who told you you were cursed? We will talk. It matters who tells you these things and what is the solution that was given because when God brings a, a solution, God bless you, Anna. Nobody must put a fear in you that does not have a solution. If it's supposed to wear, wear, warn you. Dimakazo. Dimakazo. I want you to, um, it's midnight, uh, Friday, cross my, on my, on my TikTok so that you can register on Fortune L online. You look for me and, um, and, Thank you, Jesus. Dimakato, that itching. There is something that you did. And you have of that thing. Because it's now creating an issue for you. that uses muti you know, it, they don't use muti for you but they use muti to strengthen themselves 
with you. It's fighting with you. And hence this continuous itch. Because you had relations with them. Okay. Let me move on. Father, thank you. So Come in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Biki Command the spirit of defeat to leave you. Biki Mukibe. I command the spirit of defeat to leave in Jesus' mighty name. No of Jesus Christ. And as I make this prayer, I need people who are tapping into it and who who are in agreement with it and saying, I will in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I release the spirit of dominion. Somebody, I need you to come. And section, we're going to shout spirit of demon. Jesus name, we're going to shout it seven times. I want you to write it out there as you are declared. Share it with me. Spirit of dominion. Dominion, enter me now. Spirit of, of dominion, enter me now. Spirit of dominion, enter me now. Spirit of dominion, enter me now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, shall you be feeling de defeated that feeling of defeat right now you are feeling so much joy you will no longer be defeated entering you now in the name of jesus christ Re the mighty name of jesus christ hey, In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. To overcome in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Karabasoto. God has a solid plan. God has a solid plan. God has a package for his people. God is saying. You are an overcomer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You were not designed to be designed with a defense package for your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ready to know that you are not at the mercy of of the enemy's forces you are not at the mercies of the forces of the world in jesus mighty name those of you on youtube help me comment more so that i know that we are keeping up with maybe there's a little bit of a leg thank you and god bless you A spirit or designed with an a, a, a spirit to, to just exist as an undergoer, as an under spirit of an overcomer. You were designed to exist as an overcomer. And as you continue to declare it, as we pray, as we are closing, I want you to continue to pray and declare, I'm an overcomer. Let me announce to you, those of you, my God, source is God. When you know, Come. And I decree that your source is God. Somebody declare in the comment section and 
say my source is God. I rely. And when I rely on the source that I am all knowing, the source that the, the source that is omnipresent and omniscient. Right now, in Jesus' mighty name. When you know your source, it determines your strength in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Where you are coming from determines your durability. When you know that you are coming from the from, from the Lord who, who made heavens and earth, when you know that you are coming from the Lord who is, who is in charge of everything, you are You don't break easily. If God does not break, you do not break. If God does not get defeated, he has never not lose any battle. Talk to me, somebody. Of indestructibility. You come from There's no perishability. You are not a perishable commodity. You are like, you've got I know some of you don't, don't worry about my English. I decree and I declare that you are durable. You do not have perishability inside of you. You have lastability. That means you have staying power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Some of you, they come. In your marriages, but God is going to stay. year mark you're gonna pass the 10 year mark you are not going to be divorced you are not gonna be cast out hallelujah some people have, have been bewitched to the extent to say they will not the lion so is his mother-in-law right now my god somebody declare i'm indestructible i have lost a bit going out in jesus mighty name God is my source. If God is your source, that means God is your future. Your future is guaranteed. If God is your source, it means not to torment you. Am I communicating to something? Amen. I said what cannot torment God cannot torment you. As you are of God, little children, it means whatever cannot torment God cannot torment you. If you are failing, God can only give birth to tomatoes. God does not give birth to eggs that break. My God. Zodwa, I break the spell that was made. There was a spell at a four-way intersection. And you back that you, you will not amount to anything. You're, you have been going through stagnancy. And you have been making, you've been feeling like something is off. Because and say God is my source and God is restoring me in Jesus mighty name if, if God is, is your source whatever destroy you I need it to sink in your mentality right now in the name of Jesus Christ
Somebody say I'm wired to last. I'm not wired to break. I'm not wired to give. I am wired to last in Jesus' mighty name. My source is determining my supply. Supplies. My source is God. And show your provision. My God is my source and my provision in the name of Jesus Christ. I am belong to God. Declare and pray this with me and say, God, God is my owner in Jesus' mighty name. I don't belong to myself. I will not have to defend myself. Therefore, I in the name of Jesus Christ, against every accusation, my God, those of you who have been saying, my God, hearing, who's going to defend me in the work? place God is saying you belong to me and you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ some of you are going to have a, 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 a shocking because God is going to use people that have you have never even had more than three three sentences discussion with them but they are going to speak for you and on your behalf they're going to defend you in Jesus mighty name that when you are owned by God and you understand your ownership that anybody who comes against you comes against God anyone who's looking for you is looking for your God if they are looking for your trouble that means they are looking for the trouble of God God will trouble your trouble in Jesus name by all protocol breaking power inside of me my God I declare that you will trouble my troublers in the name of Jesus Christ God is my owner and God is my keeper. I said God is your owner and God is your keeper in Jesus mighty name. Anyone who knows you and, and, and anyone who knows that you are owned by God, he knows that God is going to keep you. You are not an outcast. You will not be thrown away. Rejection has nothing on you. God is keeping you. Hallelujah. You belong to God. And if you belong to God, no power on earth is licensed to function in your life without the permission of God so any power that has been subduing you trying to subtract you from life change you any power evil power whatever it is every every evil covenant every evil altar that has been trying to challenge you in Jesus mighty name it cannot have effect unless God gives it permission in the name of Jesus Christ and somebody as you declare and say God I belong to you you defend me I belong to you keep me Lord in Jesus mighty name I decree and I declare that you have overcome them hallelujah the battles of life that have come into your life I want you to announce to them and say those battles you have come too late somebody declare it in the comment section and say you are too late you are too late you are too late because God God is already in, on the scene you came too late you came to suppress me too late God is already on the scene hallelujah I've already overcome he's already called me an overcome than what is confronting me come on somebody declare i am stronger than whatever is confronting me in the mighty name of jesus christ i am stronger than what is confronting me i am stronger than what is confronting me in the name of jesus christ i am more than equal to the task any task that you shall be given any project that you shall be given i am more than oh i am more than equal to the task in the name of jesus christ whatever will not collapse god will not collapse you in jesus mighty Name. what will collapse you will never co confront you I said whatever could collapse you as a human being in your flesh can never confront you we are blocking it at the gate the battle is at the gate we are saying my God anything that tries to collapse me I will not collapse in Jesus mighty name I pray for that person that had been planned that you are going to collapse at your workplace and you're not going to return they had been trying to send a stroke for you you were supposed to have a stroke in your workplace temba temba tembisile you were supposed to have a stroke in your workplace. Right now, the Holy Spirit has just arrested that stroke because you were supposed to collapse and not come back. 
Whatever is troubling you is troubling your God. And if they're troubling your God, God is going to trouble them back in the name of Jesus Christ. You are stronger than what you think. Wake up somebody. You are stronger than what you think. Somebody declare, I am stronger. I am stronger in Jesus name. Any person where they have set your trap. Olua, 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 Olua. You are stronger. You shall not be collapsed. You will not be defeated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your victory has existed before the battle has already began. Your victory has already begun before the battle began. Your victory has existed before your battle began in the name of Jesus Christ. Maureen Martin, your victory has been declared before the battle began in the name of Jesus Christ. Karabashia, Ntogozisi, your battle has been won. Your victory has been announced in the name of Jesus Christ. Before the cloth became dirty, the soap was already released to wash you. The blood has already washed you. Come on, somebody. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I declare to every single person who's at the sound of my voice that the greater one lives inside of you. You will move with that consciousness as we close the broadcast shortly. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father God, let them know, let them move in the consciousness of their greatness. I decree and I declare the greatness DNA will manifest in every single area of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, goodness and mercy shall continue to follow you. I decree goodness and mercy shall follow you. That goodness and mercy will continue to attract that which is good in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The mercy of God will begin to repel every bad thing that is trying to come in your way. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every bad thing that is trying to come in your way. In Jesus mighty name. Debbie, every bad thing that was coming your way is being repelled by the mercy of God right now. I want you to know that you are not alone in Jesus' mighty name. The greater one lives inside of you. And if the greater one lives inside of you, he who is inside of you is greater than anybody that can confront you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Nandi, they are, he who is inside of you is greater than anyone that can try and confront you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mom Sophie, do you, God is greater inside of you in Jesus' mighty name. Let mercy speak for you. What is working for you is heavier than what is heavy, that is working against you. So whatever is working against you, it can never be heavier than the God that you carry. The, the anointing that you carry inside of you is heavier than whatever is working against you. My God, whatever forces that gathered to help Makoriyama Sotakaria. They are more than the forces of the enemy, says the Spirit of the living God. The forces that are fighting for you, they are more than the forces that are fighting you in Jesus' name. What is working for you is greater than what is working against you in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I thank you for releasing the secrets to our victory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, I thank you for the secrets of our victory that you have released to us in Jesus' mighty name. Father, from today, every single person who's at the sound of my voice, they will exist and they belong to you, my God. I decree and I declare they belong to you. Let that reality sink in, my God. I release it from the spirit realm into the physical realm. My God, I thank you, Holy Spirit. Father God, as we close this broadcast, Father, we close it knowing that we don't belong to ourselves. We belong to you. Therefore, victory is guaranteed. Father, as, I, as, as we pray right now, we do not belong to the societies or the communities that are around us, but we belong to you. We do not belong to money. We are not controlled by money. We belong to you, God. We live for the one who died for us, my God. We resurrect for the one who resurrected for us, O oh God. And everything around us, my God, is resurrecting in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Kalaba with simplicity, with all humility, with all humility, with all sincerity, with all spirituality. My God, we are just humbling ourselves before you, my God, and say we belong to you. We deserve your protection. We thank you for keeping us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
you will maintain a victory mindset as from today on your victory mindset will not be untouched will not be touched in Jesus mighty name it will be untouched in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I want you to be minded by God and say God is inside of me in everything that you do and when you take those decisions and you know that God is inside of me my God Father, as we close, I thank you for your word that has gone forth this morning. I thank you for every single person that has showed up. My God, I thank you, Lord, because you are our source in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for being our owner and knowing and letting us know and reminding us that you live inside of us. We do not need to be shaken, that we don't need to be scared of anything, my God, that our future is guaranteed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we ask you to take your place. Father, we ask you to do your work in our lives. Do your work in our family, oh God. Do your work in our churches in our ministries in jesus mighty name father god we thank you we have overcome them all of the forces of hell we have overcome them father we have overcome all the forces of stagnation all the forces of destruction we have overcome them i decree and i declare my god we have overcome every force of limitation in the name of jesus christ we declare lord we have overcome every force of resistance any opposition that has been resisting us my god we are overcomers and we have overcome them in the mighty name of jesus christ as I pray, my God, my God, I declare and I decree that every confrontation that has been arranged or arrayed against our life, any confrontation against our family members, any confrontation against our businesses and anything that we have been trying to build in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, by the authority that is in Jesus Christ that you, you have given to us, my God, we establish our victory over them in Jesus' mighty name. We establish our victory over them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, as we receive the grace to shift levels this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We decree and we declare that we are shifting levels in the kingdom of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And as we shift levels, my God, we are shifting levels in the amount of evangelism that will go through. Our lives become a living epistle so that people look at us and look at our lives. Our lives will be an evangelism that will lead people to you, my God. We are going to populate the kingdom of God because when they look at us, they will see the result and the evidence that we serve a living God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray for all the souls that are gathered here, my God, all the souls that we will win this week, all the souls that will be won by the people that are listening to the sound of their, of my voice right now, in Jesus' mighty name, as we release and we go to our respective homes, homes or workplaces, or we are going to work right now, in Jesus' mighty name. Father, let us announce the good news to somebody, anybody that we meet. Let kindness be sh shown to somebody that we will meet today in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody who who needs that encouragement. That's somebody who needs that encouragement to know that there is a God that is remembering them in Jesus' mighty name. Saints, as I'm praying this prayer, I'm asking you to show kindness to somebody today. Before the end of this week, I want you to show kindness to somebody. Not somebody that you know, somebody you don't know, a total stranger. If it means that you pray for, pay for their groceries at the till, I want you to do that for them. If it means you buy groceries and you just give somebody you see in the street, I want you to show kindness. Because a lot of people have given up and a lot of people are going to give up if we don't start showing our love and the love of Christ to them. Am I communicating somebody? And if you say, Pastor, I don't have money to go buy anything. I want you to look into your cupboard and see what is in your cupboard. What can you, if you bought three tins of fish or three tins of baked beans or whatever, I want you to take half of that and go be a blessing to somebody. I want you to share something with somebody this week. Go and show acts of kindness. Am I communicating to somebody? If you need to just buy a loaf of bread this week, just buy a loaf of bread for somebody. God bless you. Thank you so much for my gifters. Thank you. Do something. Stop being the one who's always cheering when you're watching videos of other people and saying, hey, these people, they have so much money, they're blessing other people. No, even you who are who's saying, I don't have enough. I only have enough for my family. I'm asking you to split it with a stranger. That family that you know in your neighborhood, that you know that they, they, they don't have a breadwinner or something, or somebody who's looking after them, I want you to share half of it. God is your source. God will replenish. Is that, who's going to do it? Can you say, that's me, I'm going to do it? Can somebody say, yes, I'm going to do it? Can somebody say, yes, I'm going to do it? Do I have anybody who's agreeing with me or am I doing this alone? 
say that's me. If you know that you're going to do it, say that's me. If you prepared your lunchbox today, prepare two and give, give one to a total stranger at the robot. Say that's me. Even if you don't have money to give them, you don't have to give them cash, but I, wanna, I, I don't want anybody to go hungry. Even those kids who are smoking Dacha and who are uh, smoking Nyaupe or taking drugs, I want you to do something. Take half of whatever it was. Do this for me. I don't know why God is saying this and the spirit of God is just leading me to say this. I want you to take half of whatever was your groceries for this week and go and give them. Thank you for the few people that have said that's me and thank you. I see you. That's me. Th that is the family I have on TikTok. That is the family I have on YouTube and on Facebook. I have a family of givers. We are, we are going to go ahead and do it. Do it. Do it. Yes, Ovi. Whatever your maize meal level is, take a plastic and put half of your maize meal and you go give it to somebody. You, God will lead you to the person. As you walk around, if you, as you're walking around in the mall or something, you go and say, be a blessing and say, here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. God will bless you. I want you to, I want to, I, you're going to come back with a testimony. But that's not why we are doing it. I don't want you to do it because you want God to do something for you back. This one, I need you to do it. Because the Holy Spirit said we must do it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. In the lack that you think you are in, you're going to take something and you're going to give somebody. God bless everybody. Hallelujah. Father, thank you, Lord, that as we continue to carry your assignment, as we continue to honor your word, that you're going to help us to change levels in Jesus' mighty name. Father, thank you, Lord, that our victory is established in Jesus' mighty name. We will walk in the reality of your presence in Jesus' mighty name. Father, as I pronounce declarations of, uh, uh, as I close right now, I declare that every battle that anybody who's at the sound of my voice has been going through, whatever battle that you have been involved in right now, it is terminated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Today is the last day of your suffering. In Jesus' mighty name, you are stepping into the realms of being an overcomer. That lady that lost your son on the 22nd of January, I pray for you. May God give you an uplifting in Jesus' mighty name. I know you're not coping and I'm not going to tell you not to, to, to mourn your child. And I know it's difficult. You take all the time that you need, but I need you to invite Jesus in your situation because I don't want the enemy to use that as a door of, 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 of affliction, to open inf affliction into your heart. The Holy Spirit is asking me, please, to, because I see that if you continue, if, if you go deeper into it, he will separate you from God. There's nowhere else you can run to. You can only run to God. I know you don't understand it. I know it's a painful thing to lose a child. And I'm not asking you to, to expedite your mourning. No. Cry when you need to cry. But I want you to rest in the assurance that he is in a safe place. He is in the heaven with God. Okay. And I pray also for that person. There's a mother, your child was hijacked two days ago or over the weekend. And you lost your child over the weekend. Your child was hijacked. I pray right now that God gives you strength in Jesus' mighty name. God is the comforter. The Holy Spirit, may the Lord, Holy Spirit give you comfort in Jesus' mighty name. I pray for that for that that mother you lost your child about few it's less than it's less than 3 days ago it was a hijacking my god i forgot the name oh jesus sorry holy spirit hallelujah buki i want you to call your friend who lost her husband due to cancer and ask her what she needs. Ask her what she needs. Buki, send me, send me her address, her physical address. I want to take some groceries there today. Send, send, send me her address. Anybody who's close to me, if you want to be a blessing, one of our own lost her husband due to cancer. 
and we're going to be a blessing in, in, in their lives. Father, I pray for every single person who is sick, who is on this broadcast or who has a family member who is ill in Jesus mighty name who needs healing in their body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I come against that hypertension I come against that sugar diabetes in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Father I pray Lord for their total healing in Jesus mighty name and any form of illness I come against any fibroid issues any cancerous issues my God I uproot all those diseases in Jesus mighty name I decree and I declare but by that by your stripes you have been healed in Jesus name Father, every nightmare, every ancestral demon that has been tormenting people, every spiritual spouse that has been tormenting people that are on this broadcast or any of their family members, right now, my God, I command that they will catch fire in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Whatever has been looking for you to cause evil towards you, right now, it will disappear in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I declare that let their glory be restored. Father God, whatever has been trying to shame them, let the glory be restored in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every weight of the enemy that he has put on you right now is being taken away in Jesus' mighty name. Before this week is over, you will notice that the forces of God are fighting for you. And they will beat hands down anything that has been trying to oppress you. You're going to start seeing your enemies starting to confess your enemies falling down in Jesus mighty name. Miss M, please do me a favor. I don't want to be in disobedience. I need to go and see that lady today. I know I may have a thousand and seventeen thousand things to do today. Let me know, is she still in Joburg or has she already traveled to the Eastern Cape? I don't know where the burial is, but I need to go and see her. Please send me the address in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, I thank you for every single person that has joined this broadcast this morning. Thank you, Lord, that they are living with a testimony in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord, that you have removed every, every protocol, my God. They have survived and they will thrive, my God. Every obstacle has been removed in Jesus' mighty name. Obstacles are removed in Jesus' mighty name. You will not lose it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lady Cara. Protocol breakers, we thank him that we are not weak. We are strong in the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you so much, guys. From YouTube and Facebook, as always, God bless you. Remember to like the video and like several other videos before you leave where you are right now. Everybody on Facebook, please come back and listen and you pray along and you strengthen your, your spiritual life and you will grow. And 10 p.m., Apostle Mara is back and we'll be holding our meeting at 10 p.m. tonight. Make sure you join the teaching. Otherwise, I see you tomorrow at 5 a.m. I am going to put the registration link. Those of you are in uh, South Africa, you know when we mean midnight, we mean the end of Friday. So we will be, what date is it in, um, on Saturday morning? So midnight will be, you see, I don't want to give the South African start time because I'm going to confuse you. So you go to my profile, you will see upcoming live event you click on that and then it will synchronize the time with the country that you're in. Because if I give you the, the time, I don't want to give you the, the, the time, but it's South African standard time and you can go and synchronize it. De Gracia, I, I speak order in your family in Jesus mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So everybody, make sure you are there at the uh, all night prayer. And because we do so much more at the all night prayer and we'll be able to do the one on ones the, the, as much as we can. We will pray and we will ask the Lord more specifically. But now I need to release people who are going to work. All protocols and obstacles have been removed in Jesus mighty name. Amen. So I release you go and conquer. Go to your workplace and be victorious. Remember you are beautiful. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are awesome. You are more than awesome. In fact you are fantabulous in Jesus mighty name. I love you guys. God bless you. Thank you so much.